Hello there, friends, and welcome or welcome back to the series where I'm completing an Animal Crossing Island in 30 days. Today officially marks day six of that journey. And in case you happen to just be joining us, here are the rules that we're following for this island. And with that, let's get on to our freaking KK concert. <gasps> now today I have one very special announcement. Yes. <gasps> oh my God. So we literally do it right now. I know I'm supposed to be like super sentimental during the KK concert and talk about all the memories and all the work we've done to get to this point, but I just want to decorate. Can we speed this up, dude? You know, if we were all at home watching the island broadcast in the morning and we're supposed to, and Isabel is live streaming basically KK's concert, how are we all here? And was no one watching her morning announcements? That's not very nice. Or maybe it's just simply not that deep. I'm leaning towards that. Woo! Yay! Thank you! Thank you, KK! Thank you so much! Woo! Yes, Tom? Oh, it's nice to see Tom happy about something that doesn't involve putting me in debt. I appreciate that. That's kind of cute. Yes! Island designer, let's go! It's like official now. Like, we've done it. We have traversed the road to three stars, and now we begin our journey to five stars. All right, well, we've officially unlocked our terraforming and all of the things that come along with having our three-star island, but we've got one more thing on the to-do list today, if you remember from last episode, and that is we are going to be bringing the Able Sisters shop to Edelwood so that we can go code hunting and finally get to start on our first big build in tomorrow's episode. So let's freaking do it. We're going to time travel a couple days, and let's see if we can find Miss Mabel. Nope. And extra nope. Not today. Oh. Cutie, but no. Absolutely not. Still not here. Yes, all right. Come on, Miss Mabel, lay it on me. Could I bend your ear for a bit? You bet. Yes. We have some materials left over from building Nook's Cranny. Since when? You're telling me Timmy and Tommy didn't use all those resources that I painstakingly gathered for um, a treasure island? Yes, all right. We're kind of running out of space on the beach fronts of our island. I wonder where I'm actually going to throw this. Hmm. I think for now we're literally just going to kind of throw it like right back here, because I don't think I'll need to do a build here in the immediate future. Sure, why not? All right, now let's go ahead and skip forward one more day and actually get the shop built so that we can start some code hunting. Code hunting? Code shopping. Oh, what? Are you kidding me? It doesn't go up till one more day from now. That's dumb. Well, one thing we can go ahead and try to take a stab at today is spending enough money at Nook's Cranny that we finally cross that threshold and get it to upgrade. And there's like the cheapest things in here today because of course there is. This gnome kind of looks like Eugene. Okay, so I thought the next milestone on this uh, bell ringer achievement here was actually the 100,000, and it looks like I've spent a little bit more than that. I know that that's on my island as a whole, I think, so that might include stuff from the Nook Stop, but I haven't bought much there. So let's go ahead and skip forward just one more day and see if we have spent enough money here to actually upgrade Nook's Cranny. Um, excuse me. All right, fine, we'll buy some more, I guess. Okay, surely that's gotta be enough, right? All right, if this didn't work, then I'm gonna have to look up what I'm doing wrong. 
Okay, a campsite villager is an update, I guess. What? Why isn't it upgrading? Do I have to spend 200,000? Okay, one minute. A, C, and H, how to upgrade Nook's Cranny. Uh, a total of 200,000 bells, and I must have spent at least 30 days on my island since Nook's Cranny was built. All right, well... Let's check our campsite villager, and I've now decided that in today's episode, we're going to not only get the Able Sisters on our island, but I'm not going to do any code shopping until I get this freaking Nook's Cranny upgraded. Because I just want this upgraded as soon as possible. Oh my f***ing... Sorry, Raymond? <laughs> Greetings, Raymond. Um, 2020, Ashley, is going insane for you right now, but... 2024, Ashley? Eh, yeah. He's cool. Definitely a cool cat villager, but he doesn't fit the vibe. Thanks for visiting Edelwood, though, Raymond. It's like we've got a celebrity on our island. You know what? That's it. We are spending the rest of the bells that we have at Nook's Cranny today. Hey, and they've got a little spooky, scary skeleton. Spooky, scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. All right, I have bought and resold enough 3,000 bell stone tile for my entire lifetime. If this doesn't result in an upgrade to this stupid shop, I don't know what will. I don't know what will. All right, Nook's Cranny upgrade. Nook's Cranny upgrade. Nook's Cranny upgrade. That's a funny way of saying Nook's Cranny upgrade. Are you kidding me? Ugh. Oh, I bet it said I haven't been on here for 30 days yet. I bet that's the issue. All right, see you in November. Whew, that would have been my breaking point, thankfully. We did not come to that, and we are finally getting our Nook's Cranny upgraded, yes! Oh, and also, now's a good time to mention that I spent a little time upgrading my house. And I think it's time that we clean some of this stuff off the beach. All right, well, we at least made a pretty good dent in cleaning up some of our beaches, which just feels a lot better whenever we're running around our island. And with that, I think that it's time we go ahead and pay a visit to the beloved Abel sisters. We've put that off for long enough. Hey there, Mabel, long time no see. Oh my gosh, she's beautiful. Oh, sweet goodness. Oh, I've never seen anything more beautiful in my whole life. But the actual code shopping process is pretty boring. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera. So let's just go ahead and skip to the good part. As you can tell, it is now much later in the day and I have spent a ton of this afternoon just going through and collecting a collection of some really cute design codes. So let's see here. Um, I love that this person added their Instagram for credit on their freaking design codes, 1000 IQ play. Um, but this is the road code we're going to be using. And I'll just give you guys a quick overview of some of the things we have. I have it kind of sorted to where all of the city ones are up at the top. All of the like more outskirts farm or kind of like situational ones are here in the middle. And ones for like the cryptid museum or like smaller designated areas are down here towards the bottom. And this one is going to be our island flag. Some of you guys actually might recognize this design code here. It's from Over the Garden Wall. And our island name, Edelwood, is actually a reference to that show. Um, Edelwood Trees, spelled with just the E, but I thought that the A looked cuter, so I added it for a little flair. The Edelwood Trees are actually the type of trees that the woodsman has to cut in order to fuel the lantern. And I thought that that was a pretty name and a really cool reference to one of my favorite shows to watch this time of year. I watch it every year. It's like a tradition. But yeah, actually, we can go ahead and make that little adjustment now. Let's go ahead and change our flag. Oh, and then I have to show you guys the cute um, clothing custom designs that I got too, because I forgot to do that. I also need to change my hair. Maybe get some eyebrows too. I need to add that to the list. Yeah, we also need to change our island tune too. So if anyone has any good ideas for like fall related ones to use as our tune, 
Let me know, but look at that. Isn't that so cute here? Let me scoot it over so that way I can put a comparison of the actual um, picture up on screen too. So that way people that aren't familiar can get the reference and we can all be included in it together. Oh, but now let me go ahead and show you guys these cute clothing custom designs I found. So a couple just cute little like fall ones. This one I freaking love. Let's go ahead and try it on. <gasps> oh my gosh, I love that. That's something I would wear IRL. Then we have a little mushroom cardigan and an over the garden wall sweatshirt because I am always in black sweatshirts, IRL. And I think that it's adorable. <laughs> I don't know how often we'll wear it, but it is pretty cute. And then we also got some standees, uh, a couple little boxes, some little pie flags, a frog. Oh, I did not mean to wear him. It's kind of serving. It's kind of iconic, right? You guys like my frog hat? Tell me you like my frog hat. All right, let's change back to this one. I really like that one. Um, I also need to get myself some freaking glasses. It feels so weird. My face looks so naked. Um, oh, I got a cute little magazine stand too that we'll use for like the city area. Editing Ashley here. Sorry to interrupt, but I forgot to mention that as of this video, the Pinterest board, which has all of Edelwood's codes on it, is actually live. So you can check the link down in the description if you're interested in using any of these codes for yourself. Now, back to the video. And yeah, that's a quick overview to all the codes that I've gathered so far. I'm still wearing a frog on my head. We're just gonna roll with it, but let me go ahead and purchase the custom design pathway tool so that we can test run our little brick path and see how we like it. All right. Sorry, froggy. Oops, whoopsies, that's not the plus button. Is now a good time to mention I got a new controller? All right, let's do, hmm. I really wanna try out these steps. So let's just kind of give it a little test run. Ooh. Now it does look kind of purpley and I do not think I put these steps right. This should be like a outside little line here. So it does look kind of purpley right now because of the time of day, but I actually think I really like it. It's going to look really good whenever we get like a street light or something. Actually, we can test that right now. I know I have street lights somewhere. I really thought that this would be brighter. Not going to lie. You know, I actually seem to remember saying something similar about my future. Oh well, but I'm excited to use it. Let's go ahead and also try out, let's go ahead and give this dirt path a spin. Do I hear that someone has, <gasps> Billy, no, you're stinky, stinky gross Billy. Oh my God, these jocks are gross. Let's take this dirt path for a spin. This one I know is by um Colin Crossing or Collins Crossing. All right, and same thing with this. Obviously it kind of looks dark. Once we get done laying all these out, we'll time travel to see what they look like during the actual daylight. What other codes do I have to test out? Oh, I want to test out these little welcome mats. Let's see if these work the way I think that they do. Oh my God. This, this is the cutest freaking thing I've ever seen. This is adorable. I'm so glad that I decided to get these codes. That's perfect, yes. Wait, why did I do that? I could leave it there. I know that this one technically says winter, but I think that you can cozy up in the fall as well. And I like that. I like it. I wanna see what these look like hanging from the street lamps with banners, um, but I need to pick up some of those from a treasure island and unlock recent Cyrus, actually. Maybe we'll go ahead and do that tonight, um, or at least do our first visit. These are going to be barn doors. Um, I'm not sure if I like this color of barn door with the dark wood. That's something that we'll have to test out again once I unlock the ability to customize things. Um, got some cute little textures for stalls. A barrel for the apple cider like stall I'm going to have at the apple orchard. And yeah, so far that's what we've got. Let's try to make a quick visit to Harv's Island and go ahead and get that phototopia thing out of the way and then skip forward to the morning so we can see what these codes look like in the daytime guys i forgot that i have a frog on my head i don't know if you guys can hear this but there are people outside our apartment right now or maybe one of our neighbors and it's just like these group of kids these group of kids and it's just like this group of kids and they are screaming one of the girls screamed so loud i had this moment where i was like 
is she okay? Should I go check on her? But then I heard like laughing and like same girl like was having a good time. But uh, maybe they're at the pool or something, but man, they're loud. It's only like 7.30. Am I old? Be quiet out there, kids. It's bedtime. I want to make sure that we get full frog here. Priceless. All right, that's enough for me. Update on the screams. They have gone from what sounds like good fun to what now sounds like a family arguing. If you notice a long uh, lapse of time in between the edits in this video, it's because I took my headphones off because I'm nosy. I am that neighbor that's like, as soon as we hear conflict next door, I've got like my ear up against the wall and I'm like, shh, shh, shh. All right, hopefully that meant that we'll get the letter tomorrow to unlock the expansions. Um, I'll probably go ahead and make a couple of trips to Treasure Island tonight. I wanna get some better clothes and I need to get some more cash. Um, but before we do that, let's go ahead and skip forward to the morning so we can see what these pads look like in the daytime. Oh yeah, that's right. Let's see if we got our letter from Harvey. Freaking yes. Let's go. I'll probably do, I'll probably get all that set up off camera tonight, but. Hey, Flick. Oh my gosh, these coats are beautiful. Thank you for blessing us with your presence here, Flick. Let me just, there we go. These codes are gorgeous. These are going to look so good with these pretty trees, especially once we get later into fall. Oh my gosh, I love it. All right, well, it feels only fitting to do our little outro underneath our brand new flag for Edelwood and with our frog hat, of course. Um, let me know if I should keep this guy in my final look for the island. Maybe I'll have to find like a cute little shirt or something that goes well with him because I kind of like him. He's kind of cool. But all right, I've gone on long enough. It is so exciting that we've finally got our Able Sisters on the island and our Nook's Cranny will be upgraded in tomorrow's episode. So I'm stoked about that. But more importantly, tomorrow looks like it's gonna be our very first build. So stay tuned for the entrance build tomorrow. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all the YouTube things, and hit the bell for notifications if you want to stay notified and know when tomorrow's episode comes out. And with that, I'll catch you all in tomorrow's episode. Bye! Eugene, tell them to like, comment, and subscribe. Please. Please.